Now let's look at how to change bottom sheets from side to side. So you have to prepare your sheet. This one, they are going to roll the bottom sheet itself. You have to ensure which part is the right side and which part is the wrong side. So when you identify that, then you roll onto the right side. You don't roll onto the wrong side because you want the right side to face up. You always roll sheet onto the part that will face up so that when you are unrolling, the drum can face up. Then you do it like this and put it on your trolley. So you pick your sheet in the same way as you are doing a simple bed. You roll your draw Macintosh as well. The draw Macintosh too is rolled widthwise. That is, you roll the short end because we are changing from side to side. You roll at the short end. You don't roll at the long edge. So the draw sheet is rolled in the same manner of the draw Macintosh. At the short end, you roll onto the surface that should face up then you prepare your top sheet that is you should know if the top sheet should be changed if patient's top sheet is dirty then you have to pick a new top sheet and prepare top sheet can be folded this way where you open it three times onto the three times onto the bed or you can roll it as if you are making a bed from top to bottom all is allowed the same for the counter pin you also roll it you can do it you can fold it in three folds or you can roll it top to bottom it, it's a matter of choice and that one too you have to roll it onto the right side so that when you open it the right side will face up because you don't turn it it's its purpose is to beautify the bed that's why it's always colorful so it should face up then you pick your other things like your disposable gloves onto the trolley prepare the trolley down and go and inform patients about the procedure when we were taking up i noticed that some stains are on your sheets i think when you were eating the bamboo it's stain on the sheets so i want to come and change the sheets for you can i go and come Okay, then I'm going to bring my items. After informing patients, you go and bring your prepared trolley. Then you screen the patient and explain procedure proper. Okay, I'm back. So the, for this procedure, you are going to turn it to your side. You see, you have become very weak. You cannot get out of the bed. So you have to turn it to your side and lay this side. After that, we turn it to this, to my side here and lay the other side. Okay. It won't be painful, but you may feel a little discomfort. But in case you feel any extreme pain, let us know. I can't do it alone, so I will need somebody to assist me. She is next aid. Okay. Uh -huh. And then um, what you can do is that when you are turning, you try, you know you feel weak, but try to also turn yourself so that you don't push you too much. And after laying the bed, you feel more comfortable. Okay? so in explaining the procedure you have to screen before you do that don't forget that was not done in the video because the screen would limit our movement so don't forget that then you sanitize your hands with your assistant you put your chest in a position you don your gloves every time you wear gloves you should sanitize your hands or wash your hands before you wear the gloves and when you remove it to you should sanitize or wash your hands always and since this type of bed making involves a patient you have to put on the glove because we are removing dirty linen into a receptacle when you put on the glove you should give the receptacle to your assistant because she will receive the, the dirty linen and put it there so when you are starting you have to remove all connections on the patient, including infusions. If there is oxygen that can be taken off for a while, you remove it. And then you bring down bed rails, if there are side rails on the bed. Then you take off the counter pin. If it's not dirty, you can fold it nicely and reuse. If it's dirty, you can just take it off and put it in the dirty linen receptacle. Fold it nicely and you can reuse for the same bed making. And then you ask for the top sheet, you leave patients covered with it. You are not supposed to expose patients under any circumstance. So after removing the size of the bed, untacking the size of the bottom sheet, 
then you cross patient's arms and legs towards where he will be turning to which is the assistant then you push the dirty linen under patient's back and bottles and lay the new linen because of how the new linen was rolled you just place it down like this with the drum facing up make sure you have enough room to operate and you the main performer you make your envelope canis i have a video on how to make envelope canis you make your envelope canis nicely remember this is bottom sheet so we do top end of the bed bottom end of the bed then we do the middle that's how it should be for bottom sheet so she's done with top and bottom she's now doing the middle after bottom sheet you bring your draw macintosh draw macintosh was also rolled was rolled sideways like this so that you can unroll it onto the patient's back neatly then you bring your draw sheet one thing you should know is if the draw macintosh is not too soiled we draw it to the um to the assistant side we don't remove it entirely but these days you have to remove and change everything so you turn patients back when you are turning patients you have to hold the sheet up so that patient doesn't fall on the sheet for the sheet to to tie around the patient then the the other nurse also removes the dead linen you see how she did it you remove it and use it to clean the bed at the same time so that any stains on the mattress will be will go off and she lays her part very fast she also does envelope canness at top end or the head end of the bed then the bottom end of the bed then the middle so this one you can remove the pillows it even makes patient more comfortable but this one the pillows they left the pillows on you can take the pillow off and put it on a bed if the pillowcase needs changing then you change the pillowcase as well other than that after laying the bed you put the the same pillow back on the bed so you continue this way ensure you tuck in neatly envelope canes hold the mattress firmly and there are no lines on the bed then you you pull the draw macintosh onto the laid bottom sheet and the draw sheet as well then tuck all of them under the mattress make sure the draw macintosh doesn't come into contact with patient skin and make sure patient's body is not exposed so this is how you help put the patient back on his back the assistant holds the sheet so that the patient doesn't fall on the top sheet and it will end up um tying his body so you open the top sheets like this it was folded in three so you just open it like this you don't roll it then let's look at this the the top sheet has been laid wrong side down so they have to turn it and this is a scale that's why it's been made in slow motion so that you look at it you look use one hand to pull it and use another hand beneath it to turn the inside out so that you get it the wrong side up. that's how a top sheet should be laid now they have to remove the the other top sheet without exposing the patient so the same way one hand will hold the new sheet whilst the other hand pulls the top sheet beneath away so that's it and then the assistant will put it in the receptacle Now they have to complete the top sheet by folding the bottom over itself. Top sheet we start laying it from the bottom. So you fold the bottom over itself. If there is any problem with the bottom sheet, you have to correct it before you continue. Then you place the counterpane on. Counterpane was also folded in three. So you just open it in three for the three folds like that. And it's also turned wrongly. The counterpane, the wrong side should go down so this is how they tend it that's also a scale if it is turned wrongly this is how you do it so that you don't mix things up now the counterpane you turn it the bottom side you turn it inside fold under itself and put it at the edge of the top sheet then at the top end you fold the top sheet over the counterpane 
so that one is the same for all types of bed always at the head of the end of the bed the top sheet covers the counterpane now you either tuck under the mattress that's the two top sheets under the mattress if the weather is cold or you can just fold under itself like they have done then you remove your gloves wash your hands documents and thank patients